we're placing our plants in the rain garden and you can use the plant selector database that's available to choose what plants you might want to put in your garden and again these are species that are mostly native to the area and that will survive and do well in the rain garden without extra care once they're established. So there are a couple of rules of thumb when you are placing your plants and in general what we try to do is group similar plants together in odd numbers so that it's just for more of a visual effect. We also try to create some variety in the canopy so you have some plants that are taller, some plants that are shorter and maybe some that are in the middle of the range and also try to plan for their the height when they're full grown. So some of the plants that might end up taller, keep those towards the back of the garden so they're not blocking the, the view of the rest of the garden. But besides that, it's really up to you how you place the plants in the garden. This is your garden and it should look how you like it. So don't worry too much about putting things in an exact spot. That's not really that important. What's important is that it looks good to you and that you have some fun while you're putting your plants in. So we're digging the holes for our plants now. And one thing to pay attention to when you've excavated the bottom of your rain garden, in many cases when you remove that top layer of soil, that's where the most, most of the nutrition is in the soil, in that loamy topsoil. When you get down to the deeper layers, often there's not as much organic matter in the soil and there may not be as much nutrition for the plants. So when, if that's the case where you're digging, and if you have new construction, that is almost always the case. You have a very thin layer of topsoil. So when you remove your soil for your rain garden and you dig down a little bit and you look at the soil and it's a different color, it might be lighter and more rocky, what you can do when you put your plants in, you dig the hole for the plants and then you can add some compost around the plant just to give it a, a better start to get established. So that's what we're going to do here. Some of the soil is okay here, but in some areas there was some old debris, so we're going to be adding a little bit of compost around each plant. So you'll notice over in this part of the garden where we had our entranceway coming into the garden from the pipe, we, just, we put some of this nice round stone here to cut down on erosion potential, and we also put some stone up along that edge because we're going to have some water running off of that pavement. And then we move this stone around the bottom edge just to make it look nice and fit in together. We also removed the sod in that section so the reason we did that, this would have been difficult to maintain to cut that little section of grass. So we took the sod out, we're going to put mulch in that section to make the maintenance easier.